but the golf course is absolutely a blast. It's, it's target golf with the most beautiful views you could ever see. We have elevated tee boxes, some it's 300 feet down to the fairway. A lot of folks have never, have never hit a golf shot like that. So it's target golf with fabulous views, tiny greens. You don't need your driver as much as you need to be accurate off the tee, but it's a blast. And it's a golf course you want to come back and play again and again and again. We feature our the Devil's Triangle holes, 13, 14, and 15. We let, them, we let everybody who comes to the course know when they're in the staging area that you win a prize if you make it through those three holes without a penalty stroke. We have a very fun speech we give. Yesterday it was a Jaguar, tomorrow. It's a Corvette today. It's the coveted aerial photograph of the 14th hole and a certificate of successful completion. It's just fabulously beautiful and a blast. Like I said, you want to play it again and again. Well, I'll tell you, the beaches of St. Thomas are absolutely pristine. In fact, they do test pristine if, uh, if you test the water, which is very unusual um, anywhere in the world now, to be honest. Fabulous. The, the coral reefs are beautiful. The fish are fabulously colorful. You can see stingrays, turtles, uh, just about I mean, anything you want to see underwater. Uh, purple and gold, that's the Viking fish. I call it the Viking fish. Um, a lot of color underwater, and you, well, you can't go wrong. If you're on the water or under the water in the Virgin Islands, you're in a great place. Well, the U.S. Virgin Islands obviously is a U.S. territory, so you can come to the Caribbean without a passport. That's the most fabulous thing. You, you're in the U.S. still, so you have, we have U.S. currency, we speak English, and you don't need a passport. So, easy peasy. Great place to come. Welcome to Mahogany Run here at the golf course. This is the Devil's Triangle. Behind me is the Atlantic Ocean. It's the second shot in from hole number 13. Uh, it's a great view. When you leave this hole, you're going to head up to 14. You're going to have a great shots up there. British Virgin Islands come and play, whale watching. We have a lot going on here on this um, golf course. We have a lot of, this is mahogany run, so we have a lot of mahogany trees on this course, besides palm trees everywhere. The ocean, in the middle of the um, winter, we have whale watching that comes right through the um, 13 and 14. It's a great view, I've seen a lot of whales out here. We have pelicans right behind me that dive into the water. It's a great shot, a lot of tarpon down there. All the small fish, the pelicans go after that, and you can get to see tarpon at the same time. Deep sea fishing down here is great. It's awesome. A lot of big fish they catch, tuna, snapper, wahoo. They have uh, marlin down here. There's a lot of good fishing down here besides golf. Golf is very good, nice, but it's always nice to go fishing too. If not, you go to the beaches on the island. They're beautiful. It's a great island. I love it down here. I've been here for a long time. I really enjoy it. We are now entering the Devil's Triangle. This is the par four hole number 13. It's a dog leg left, ocean in the background, great view for your second shot. We, um, you're going to lay up with about 190 is your shot. No driver is involved in this hole or you'll be out of play. Second shot will probably be about a seven iron to a pitching wedge, depending on your drive. This is the beginning of the Devil's Triangle. The next one will be number 14, it'll be a par three. And then the final one is a par five, and that's the end of the Devil's Triangle. Three very nice holes. Okay, we are now on hole number 13, first hole of the Devil's Triangle. I'm going to hit a five wood down the middle and try to keep it in play. I always stay to the right where the rope line is because left is hazard. You don't want to be over that side. So I'm going to do my best to put it right down the middle and hit my second shot onto the green. It's a very beautiful hole. Second shot will show it. Okay, I went up over the trees on the right side, caught the hill and came right down onto the fairway. It actually turned out very well for me. Okay, right now I'm on hole number 13, first hole of the Devil's Triangle. My first shot was right down the middle, came over the trees off the hill, and it's about 105 out. I'm going to take my wedge, put it onto the green. It is a little wind in my face, so I'm going to try to aim it to the sand trap on the hillside. If it goes in the sand trap, it's no big deal. If it comes off the hill, it rolls right onto the green. You just don't want to put it left side, it'll be in the hazard. I'm going to do my best to get it right over that sand trap and get it onto the green right now. I hit that a little hard. It's on the back fringe, but I can still two putt it, get my par, and I'm still eligible for the poster and the prizes from the pro shop to get through the Devil's Triangle without a penalty stroke. Okay, right now I'm taking my third shot. It's 
downhill, it's going to be a little fast. There's a red flag and I'm all the way in the back. I'm going to aim it just right at the flag stick and bring it in. It's definitely going to turn to the left side. I'm going to try to get my birdie right now. Just didn't make it over the hill. I'm going to try to make my putt for the par. And my fourth shot, I'm going to aim this right at the pin. Try to get it in. And made the putt for the four. It's a great hole to start off the doubles triangle. It is hole number 14, par three, overlooking the British Virgin Islands. It's the Atlantic Ocean, and actually it's a great spot from January to March, we have whales come through for whale watching. And we've had people spot a lot of whales come out of the water out here, including myself. And I've got some great pictures to show for it. Um, it's a great hole. It's um, par three. It could go anywhere from a seven iron to a three wood, depending on the wind. The wind is in your face quite a bit, so you have to really hit the ball onto the hill behind me. It's um, a fantastic hole. It's part of the Devil's Triangle. Number 12 is Number 13 is first, then 14, then 15. Three famous holes for Mahogany Run. Okay, I'm gonna to try to aim for the hillside with a rescue club. I'm gonna to try to keep it low. There's a lot of wind here, so it's gonna take it to the right. So I'm gonna to aim to the sand trap out there and hopefully to bring it right into the green. And I do have two hole-in-ones in this hole before, so just to let you know, I'm gonna try for my third right now. And that shot, I pulled a little left towards the trap out there, and it went down into the ravine. So it wasn't a good shot after all. I'm going to play my second shot onto the green. I'm going to try to keep it right of the pin. Everything rolls to the left towards the ocean. I'm just going to do a little bump and run, and hopefully I'm going to get it close to the pin to make my par right now. Okay, now I just chipped that. About five feet past the pin, I'm going to try to come back for the putt and make my par. It'll be a nice hole if I could do that. So a bogey's a good hole on this hole too, so fours are not a bad thing. Okay, right now I'm going to try to make my putt on 14, but I'm into a rain shower right now. But that's part of our island living. We need the rain to make the island nice and green, so, and we depend on it. So I'm going to take the flag out and try to make my putt and make my par. And I just missed it by about six inches. I'm going to make my putt right now for the bogey. And a four is a very good score on this golf course.